Hi folks, this is John from Pottery Works. Uh, I'm going to make a banana leaf platter. I'm going to use some white stoneware clay. I've got uh, just about five pounds here. Usually works out to be about the right size for me. Uh, I'm going to use a couple of 3 8 dowels, a rolling pin, and a plaster mold. Uh, I get these molds from um, the ceramic shop in Philadelphia. I've got a few of them left so I can have a few of them going at the same time. So first I'm going to start by... Now the camera is probably going to jerk as I start throwing this clay. Hopefully it's not too bad. But that's going to be the best place to put the camera. Now all I'm doing is just throwing it to get my width to start. Dowels down. Make sure you have a clean roller. Now you want to keep flipping your clay so you're able to get it up off the up off the thing here. That looks pretty close. Check it. I'm gonna have to go out just a little farther. Not much. I'm just going to use. I'm just going to stretch it. And I'm not going to roll it anymore. Okay. I need a rubber rib just to clean off, clean off the surface, nice and smooth. Set the back for the mold, should say, down on top. Take my pin tool, just roughly cut it out. Now I use this. Little wooden tools, got a nice little curves, two different size curves on it. So what I want to do is to kind of run a line from end to end, which would be my stem. I use the wider side for that. Just give it a little slight little curve, give it a little life. Take my sponge and some water. Just very lightly. Find the edges. Smooth out the edges. Now I'll take the other side of my tool and I'm just going to start. Uh, let's see, I think this side needs to be the stem. Keep it kind of even, give it a little, a little slight curve. The opposite on the other side. I said this is a uh, white stoneware, I believe, uh, standard 182. I also use a standard 112, which is a speckled clay, which with some glazes, you've got a transparent glaze, it really makes it look really cool. It's the spots on it. Now you want to smooth out your, your line. This clay is a little soft. So I don't want to press too hard. Okay, that looks good. 
Alright, take our mold. Let me make sure I'm still in the picture here. A little zoom in here. All right, we're going to lightly lift over here. Lightly lift it up. Now, what I do is to push back because you want the clay to belly down. Now, what I normally do is I'll take a pull off the side a little bit. You want to do this on a fairly nice surface because if it's too hard, it can break your mold. So what you're trying to do is to capture air underneath the mold so you get a little cushion. Now you can't see it, but as I pick this up, it actually picks this board up that has the canvas on it and creates a double air vacuum, which actually gives me a nice cushiony. Now I'll take my sponge, and I'll start going around and pushing in just defining my lines, and also feeling for the bottom of the mold. Now this clay, like I said, is very soft, so it's probably already found its, found its way. Okay, and I'll take, uh, I'll use my Van Gilder wire tool. I'll go back with my sponge, not too wet, just enough to grab the clay, and I'll roll this edge. Now you have to let it dry, I would say easily, for a day until you can turn it over. But you do want to constantly check it, make sure it's not sticking to your bat, or to your mold, I'm sorry because what will happen, it will actually raise up from the bottom and you'll get a cupping. And you want it to dry fairly slow. If it dries too fast, it's going to warp in your final firing. Like I said, depend upon the clay that you use is the glaze, the glaze. I mean, you got, uh, this one is a white clay, so I'm going to use a, a light green um, celadon, which gives me a nice break edges and really works well with this. All right, now I'm going to make a stem. I'm going to wet this just a little bit, get some slip moving. Take a piece of my cut off. Slightly roll it. Try not to get any air packed in there. Now when this is drying, this is very brittle. So I've broken many and had to change the change from doing a stem. Now what I do is I'll cut this on a 
kind of a weird angle here. I take my brush, try to hollow it. Now, here's my brush. You find the edge of the stem where it meets the leaf. Just kind of pull it into the groove. Spin that up. Okay, now here's one, this is uh, with my, uh, my speckled 115, you can see this one's dried and see how much it shrank. Now I think I'm going to lose this stem, yep, so I said you got to be very careful with that stem, just moving it around a little bit is enough. I'm going to try to put some vinegar on that, see if I can repair it. But, that's the bottom. Like I said, once you get it able to come out of the mold, just simply run your, your sponge around the edge, break the, break the sharp edges, give it a nice smooth edge to do. And uh, once I get all this stuff fired that I've been making, I'll put another video on on a kiln opening to show you some of the uh, finished products. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to fix this with some vinegar, but it may be too far gone. I might have to carve this out of here and just leave it as a leaf. But that's what happens. <clears throat> okay, this is John from Pottery Works. Thanks for watching. Bye.